In this video, I'm going to show you how to add video behind your text and export that as a transparent layer. So let's get into it. So watch your inside of Adobe After Effects and you'll have a brand new composition created. We're first going to begin by creating some new text. So we'll go up into the T icon, that is the horizontal type tool. Select that and select anywhere in this black video. Now just type out a word or a letter or anything of your choice. And you just want to move your text into the middle of the frame and then change the color to white. This is really important. So now that you've created your title, you can now drag some footage onto the timeline and you want to drop that underneath your text layer. So as you can see, I've got my text in the foreground and I've got this drone footage in the background. So how do I get this video behind this text? Well, that's quite simple. You just have to go to the track mat option. This is T-R-K-M-A-T. If you can't see that for any reason though, then select toggle switches slash modes and that should reveal this menu here. Now go onto the footage, go into null under track mat and select alpha mat BF or if you've got anything different there, it will say alpha mat text, alpha mat word, alpha mat, whatever you've put there. And that has got the video behind the text. Now the way After Effects works is it gives you this black video to edit on top of, but this isn't actually a black video. This is a transparent video and you can see that when we toggle the transparency grid. So essentially this is a transparent layer. And now we just need to export this with that transparent layer. So you want to use these two blue work area markers to select the part of the video that you want to export. So if you want a four second long export, then just go ahead and keep the whole thing or you can reduce this. I'm going to reduce it to a second just so it's nice and quick on export. Then we'll go up into composition, add to a render queue. Then in here, we've got best settings. You want to select that. Select best, resolution full, we'll keep that at full. Everything else here is fine, we'll go okay. Output module, you want to select the lossless menu. Then we'll go format, select quick time. Post render action can be none. Video output channels, and this is really important here. You want to select RGB and alpha. The depth should be millions of colors plus, and then color should be pre-multiplied slash matted. And then everything else here is fine. Press OK, and we're going to output that to a specific destination of your choice. So we'll put that in a folder, and then we'll press Render. Now, depending on the speed of your computer and depending on the length of the project that you've just exported, this may take a few seconds, or it could take a few minutes. So come back to this once it has finished exporting. And now, essentially, you have got your text with the video behind it on a transparent layer. And just to show you proof, we're going to jump into Premiere will locate that exported video. So comp1 underscore one dot MOV, catchy title. Drop that into Premiere. And as you can see, that is now its own transparent layer. So you've got the video underneath and the text is in the foreground. And there you go. That effect is now complete. Of course, though, one thing to note, if you look at this one second video, it is 32.3 megabytes. If you have a minute of text to export, then this is going to be significantly higher. So if you didn't want to run it through After Effects with the lack of compression and the high file sizes, then you can go back to your composition, go to composition, add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. And rather than running this through After Effects, it's going to run it through Adobe Media Encoder. Of course, though, you do have to have Adobe Media Encoder installed to follow this process, but it does mean that you can have slightly more compressed transparent text layers. So there you go, Adobe Media Encoder has loaded and we have this composition, Comp1, queued up, ready to export. So from here, we're just gonna go into H.264, select that, and it's gonna come up with the dynamic link connection loading menu. So just give this a second. It's trying to link between Media Encoder and After Effects, so it might take a little bit longer than you're used to just in After Effects. And this brings us into this window here, and this window is very similar to what you would find in Adobe Premiere Pro. So in here, you want to select format, and then we're going to go all the way down to QuickTime. Then we go into preset, and you want to find GoPro Cineform RGB 12-bit with alpha at maximum bit depth. Bit of a mouthful. You want to select the output name and destination, so you want to place this somewhere where you're going to remember. So I'm gonna put this in the same folder. We'll call this one compressed. Press save. Video codec will keep as GoPro Cineform. 
quality can be top, then if you match the source, that should match everything. But if for some reason the settings aren't right, then you can change the width and the height to whatever you need them to be. Frame rate and everything should be fine. You can keep render and maximum depth selected, but everything else should be fine. Press OK on this, and then you want to go ahead and select the play button. And that's just going to take a second to export, but we'll go back into Premiere. We'll delete the After Effects render, and then we'll drag the compressed video over. And there you go, we've got the same thing again. It's on a transparent background layer. Of course, at the moment, if I look in the finder, you can see that this compressed video was actually higher than the After Effects export. So let me just jump back into Media Encoder. We're going to right click, select Reset Status. We'll go back into that QuickTime menu. And as you can see, that's because the quality is set to top, that is set to five. So if we set this to two, the quality is going to be reduced, but the file size is also going to be reduced. So we'll press OK. Press play on that one again. And if we go back into this window, the newly created video is now 21.1 megabytes, whereas the one before that was 38 and the After Effects export was 32.3. And again, if we drop that directly into Adobe Premiere Pro, so this is the compressed version at a two quality. You can see there's not really much difference between them. This is the second one. This is the first one. They both look as sharp as each other. And there you go. That is how you add video behind text right inside of Adobe After Effects. Export them with a transparent background and you've got the option between After Effects and Media Encoder depending on which one you want to go with. So there you go. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and I hope this video did help. If it did, then please do consider subscribing and I will see you on the next video. See you there.